Backers, it's James again, the software guy. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the new software uh, and how it's changed and why that's a benefit. So as we've advanced towards V1 uh, of our software, we've gone and replaced a bunch of stuff that we had originally set up solely for testing and for trying things out. One of those things is uh, the UI. And the UI we had originally was pretty rough. Uh, it was very functional, but it was a little bit trickier to use than we'd like. And uh, frankly, it looked a bit ugly. In V1 of the software, we've gotten rid of those old UI elements that were a bit ugly and very awkward to use, and replaced them with some really nice new UI elements that are very easy to interact with, uh, touch screen capable, and just look great. We've also done away with the original way that we did calibration and moved to a new way of doing calibration which is as easy as dragging your mouse around to drive the laser to a point on a grid and clicking, which dramatically simplifies and speeds up the process of getting you ready to print. One of those features is the print library. The print library has a selection of eight and probably more by the time we ship prints that you can do right off the bat. They work very well and are very easy to do. You don't have to worry about pre-generating any G-code. You just click and print. The new software is going to be available via source very shortly, if not already. And that software is going to be compilable and runnable. We've tried it on Macs, Windows, uh, Windows uh, x86, um, Linux, and we're in the process of getting it running on the Raspberry Pi because we think that would be really fun. You'll be able to download binary packages for Windows right away and for Mac in the very near future. Once we're shipping printers and we're making sure that as our users pick up and use the software there aren't any bugs, which will always be our highest priority, we're going to start adding more features. Those features are going to include things like automatic acceleration and laser control. What that means is that as we go to turn a corner we can slow down and reduce the power of the laser so we get perfectly sharp corners every time while still increasing our overall print speed by printing with a powerful laser in the straightaways. We also want to uh, increase the ability to support a, a line of accessories and for the hackers out there we want to give you a few more controls that you can use with the software to make things even better. As we prepare for shipping we've been actually visualizing the locations of our users across the world and you are all over the place. I'm really excited to see things getting printed in, in the Europe, in Australia, New Zealand, in Russia, all over the US, Canada and Mexico, and even in the South America and, the, and Iceland. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the types of prints that people come up with all over the world and, uh, and being able to share those with the other users as well. All right, backers, it's been really fun working on this project and I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting V1 in you guys' hands and seeing those prints and those printers in action. Mm -hmm.